Hi guys and welcome back. So today we have a new frame. Now this one caught my eye because of its color. Now I didn't know if they were photoshopping it or it was really like that. And as you could tell, that thing looks absolutely insanely awesome. So what it is, is it's actually carbon fiber. And if you take a look here, well, first of all, this is the XUAV uh, V215R frame. So this is obviously a stretch X, as you can tell right there. I'm not a big fan of stretch X, but I just had to grab this one because look at it. It's just, that is just awesome. So like I was saying before, now this is actually very nice and it's on both sides, the color. So what they did is I think they dyed the top and bottom layer of the carbon fiber when they were putting it. And then, the, you know, the layers and then the resin and all that kind of crazy stuff they put on. So same thing goes with the side plates, as you can tell here, the black is the middle is black. So the middle is normal carbon fiber and uh, everything is carbon fiber. It's just the top and the bottom layers are what's dyed and it just gives it this insanely awesome look hopefully the camera you could see what i see here all right well now that's enough about the visuals it does look pretty sexy now let's just see rigidity it's pretty rigid as you can tell it is cut correctly as we all have learned from kebab fpv i'm not gonna lie <clears throat> i learned a lot from him he has a great channel so yeah as you can tell the arms are cut correctly here and um Let's see what else do we have. So it is a stretch X. The arms are five millimeters. They are chamfered down, which does increase cost uh, because they increase times and it's chamfered on both sides. So that's very nice to see. Uh, the, the This frame is a bottom mount battery frame and there is no hole. So you're gonna have to slide your battery through below your flight controller. So you're not gonna be able to have something sitting flat on the bottom. You're gonna need some amount of space here to slide the battery strap through. Now you might say, hey, look, you're missing one. Well, yes, because I dropped it and I couldn't find it. And why didn't I just replace it? Because it's a uh, one that's, um, what is it called? T t tapered in. So yeah, it's, it's countersunk right there. So yeah, d I need to find it, but I just didn't find it. So it's pretty cool. The arms, well, we can't really compare those two, but these two, there's a tiny bit of play on this one I could feel, but maybe I didn't tighten it down enough. No, no, they, the, the front to have a tiny bit of play. So, I mean, maybe if I tighten it a little bit harder, cause it's not all the way in. So if I possibly tighten it in a little bit harder, it'd be a little bit better. Now, as you can tell, there's also the screws here are countersunk. So they just sit flush. It's very nice to see. So if you wanted to put your GoPro, you might be able to stick one tiny zip tie through here. I mean, if you have a case like mine and then one through here and you should be good to go or through these holes. So it's kind of well thought out. You do have an SMA port right there. Like I mentioned, these arms are five millimeters. Every single other plate is two millimeters and um, they're pretty rigid, to be honest. They're, they're pretty nice. The top plate wasn't super rigid as much as the bottom ones. The colored ones felt a little bit less rigid, but it's it's totally carbon fiber from slinging it here. It's not like foam padded, kind of like the Ishin Wizard. Not the newest one, the older one that, that they tricked us with. But overall, I mean, it's very nice. It looks absolutely sexy. Now, I don't know how it's gonna fly. Um, and, uh, the amount of space inside is 27 millimeters. So just, uh, just, yeah, just keep a side note that you need some space for your battery strap. So just keep that in perspective when you're doing this and fitting all one flight controllers, depending on the size might be a little bit tricky. As you can see, this is pretty close to the standoff here. So take that also into consideration. Now, this is a blessing and a curse at the same time. Now check the camera plates here. Now you might say, oh, that's, that's crap cut quality. Well, actually it's really not because sometimes I've almost broken camera plates because it depends on what camera you have. Once you tighten it, that'll straighten itself out and it's not going anywhere as you can tell. But as this, I really like this uh, because sometimes my camera, for some reason for the Fox is the plastic on the side portrays out a little bit more than usual. And uh, this will really help it fit right into place instead of sitting sideways sometimes it happens to me i have to cut some of that plastic off i cut too much and now i need to find a whole new case or figure out a way to mount the, the camera so this is a nice but keep in consideration um <clears throat> well you can possibly you can't do that i was gonna say fit a micro with removing this and getting a 3d printed part for that but yeah overall i mean it's pretty good this is so just take that into consideration uh however like i mentioned once the camera is in place this is not moving so yeah so don't be scared there it is a stretch X. It is pretty expensive. It's around 53 bucks, but yeah, I just can't. I really love this. I really like the look of this. It's just awesome. Can you see that? It's like, it's very nice to be honest. Really, it looks absolutely awesome. So let's just get its weight here before 
ending the video. So let's just see because the weight's very important here. And 79 grams. That's very good. Very, very good. Very, very. That's, that's pretty good. 79 grams for a quad like this. And this is a stretch check, so it's kind of meant for racer-ish in a way. Um, because of swappable arms and everything. And um, overall, it's a nice little frame. I really, I can't say much about it. I mean, here it is if you guys wanted to see it. I was super curious about this part here the most. And that's why the reason I really wanted to get my hands on one. And uh, it didn't disappoint, to be honest. I, it even looks better than the pictures online. So... I really, really like that. It's just, it's awesome. You kind of think, you, when you look at it, you're like, is that the light reflecting? But when you really look at it, it's just, it's like chrome plated in a way, metallic. It's just, it just looks awesome. And, well, that's it, guys. That's going to include it for this video. I really can't say anything else about this quadcopter until we build it and fly it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please consider joining my Patreon. Help support this mission. I do a lot of giveaways. Uh, I have doing four giveaways this month. DIY Shark, Asian Lizard. And some other ESCs maybe or flight control. I don't know, but we'll, there's other two giveaways. And um, <clears throat> yeah, your chances of winning are very good. And also please check out my website down below. Uh, join the newsletter because I'll be selling stuff for absolutely cheap. You know, like some DYS Mars motors that cost 100 bucks, like for 50 bucks, $30, all f like a set of four that were used by me and now I'm not using. Instead of collecting dust, why just leave it? So you can subscribe to the newsletter and I'll release a video. Uh, I'll release an email telling you in like five hours I'll be adding this product for sale and first come first serve basis. And well, that's it guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.